Hey, we're the Robin Holly Show at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. It is our Tortuga pre-party with Dylan Carmichael. Hey, hey, everybody. What's happening? Oh, man, it's happening. It's Tortuga <laughs> again. I can't believe it's already time. Well, we're excited about it, even though the weather uh, is not exactly cooperating at this exact I second. Know, that's what I hear. I know. And then your flight. We were talking about uh, flights. Did you have turbulence? In uh, a little flight? bit. It was kind of bumpy, but nothing okay. too crazy. Are you into? Worse. Are you into the like a like a roller coaster effect in your airplanes? I see where you're going with this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a fan of, of roller coaster type experiences at all. Really? We, we, uh, yeah, we I hate were, him. Rob is. He loves it. Well, we, I hear. we were just talking about roller coasters and skydiving, and you were like, I will never skydive. But I, And I was trying to talk you into it. Right. Holly was trying to talk you out of it. I think it's an incredible life-changing well, experience. I like the adrenaline thing. I was trying thing. to support you, by I'm, the way. Okay. I appreciate it. I like the adrenaline feeling, but I don't like heights, and I don't like that like throat, stomach in your throat thing. I don't like that at all. I don't like that feeling. So we can't. You don't think I could talk you into I it? I don't think no. you could. And also, I can't go because I'm over 300 pounds, and that's the that's the law. I don't. But I think you're lying about that. Wait. <laughs> yeah. I don't hey, believe you know, I hey, listen, Google it. Actually, I think it might be 280. It's on Google. Your yeah. weight? Yeah. What? There's like a federal. It's illegal for for uh, a company to take you skydiving if if you are have a, over a certain. Weight you know, what Priscilla Block says in her song, "Thick thighs save lives," <laughs> and that's what about a. Thick gut. That is going to save your life. You never go skydiving. Because I don't really have yeah. thick thighs. Yeah. I'm just oddly shaped. Well, no skydiving in your future. Uh, and I believe that here at the at the Guitar Hotel, I'm not going to see you. We saw some people way up high at the top of this thing. Like, I don't know. It's got to be a 1,000 feet in the air. What Washing windows at the Guitar Hotel. Oh, wow. So I'm assuming see, I don't want that job. That wasn't one of your no. jobs from the past? No, I mean... No, no, you couldn't pay me to do that. <laughs> There's not enough money in the world for me to wash windows on a on a tall building. What were so you, you doing? Never, wait, you never were into roller coasters or anything like that as a kid? No, what, no. What? I mean, the, the highest I would get, and this took years and years, is to get in a tree stand. Okay. You know, but that's like 30 feet. And I still don't like it. And there's you know, a payoff with that, though. That's actually. Yeah. 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 You can stay on the ground in the blind. That's the payoff. Right? I've done blinds. Yeah. <laughs> So what were you doing, actually, when, when I'm talking about uh, jobs before you got into music? What security. were you? Security? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I had to wrestle grown men for a living. So I'm not scared of nothing. Wait, like, security <laughs> where? Like, where are you wrestling men? Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, anyway, what's happening? <laughs> uh, lower Broadway. Okay. All right. Tonk Central all right. and all that area. All know? right. Like drunk Nashville. people. Nashville. Yeah. Drunk, drunk people. people. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. It always sense. starts by kicking them out of the bar because they're too drunk. You right. Know? It's like, and then you get in an argument. It's like, hey. You're not going to win this. I'm sober. I'm at work. I'm literally on the clock right now, yeah. and you're drunk. There's no way this is going to end that you're going to win. Did you have a fun time in that job? It seems like it would be kind of a fun job sometimes. It was, yeah. yeah. It was because I was always watching my back. I felt very aware all the time. Head on a Even, swivel. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Did, That's did, did you have any uh, experiences during that time that um, inspired you to write some music about uh, the bars? I, um, maybe not about the bars, but I got inspired for sure to just write and do music in general because I was around it all the time. And the funny thing about that is when I worked security down there, uh, I would, you know, I'm a quiet guy. Like I, I have to prep myself in the mirror for just like an interview like this. Like I'm just that way. I'm, I'm introverted. And I didn't say anything about it to none of the musicians on Broadway. I was just checking IDs all the time. And then one day the front door guy that checks IDs, me disappears. They're like, where did where did the front door guy go? And they're like, he got a record deal. What? <laughs> and they're like, what? I was like, yeah, he just went and sang for some folks on Music Row and got a record deal. So you didn't put your two weeks in for this? I did. I actually did. I, I'll never forget the conversation with my boss, who I'm still friends with today, and go, hey, man, I don't know how to tell Like He's like, is it April 1st? Because what? I was like, yeah, man, I signed a record deal. and and uh, Because it had to be sudden because I couldn't, I, I didn't want to say anything until it was complete. I didn't want to quit my job too early. So I literally waited till the moment I signed the deal to tell him. I was like, I just signed a record deal and I have to be, so I have to full time go write songs and I'm going to make an album and all that stuff. So wait a second. The boss is like, I didn't even know you played music. He no, knew. Nobody knew, but him but, and I were close. Okay. So he, he knew I played, but, okay. but in general, like the, the nobody the else. They're like, what? The, what yeah. is happening? They're like, right we're now? up here. The security. We're up here every day, like all day long, playing music on Broadway, and the security guy gets a record deal. What? <laughs> Dylan, you are like, you know, when you always hear these Nashville stories, you know, of like, you know, this, like, you know, when you have these urban 
Nashville story right. of how somebody made it. It's, it's like wild you're city. living that. That's amazing. It's a wild town. I yeah. didn't know that story. I love that. And we know you've been working your butt off as well, posting a ton of songs. Yep. And I appreciate the fact that you put the lyrics on there as well. Yeah. Because there was one, uh, there was one that I heard today that I was kind of listening to it and I wasn't looking at it. And yeah. I had to look at it because I I thought I heard something about uh, water from a hose, panties on the track, and I'm like, what? Wait, what? <laughs> I go, wait, what? Pa panties, what? But it was, I read it and I said, oh, it's you know, penny, pennies on the track. Something about that's ringing a bell or something. No, that's, that's my song, uh, Hose Water, I believe. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That's a, that's a new one I wrote. Uh, it's not out yet. You, oh, because I posted it. Yeah. Yeah, that song's called uh, Country Alive. It's to all the boys and girls keeping country alive. It's uh, I sipped water from a hose. Put pennies on a track and caught fireflies on a mason jar. See, see if you're listening, like kind of half listening, you could hear panties. I feel, yeah. I think that's just your brain. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? I think like, your mind's I think, in the gutter. My yeah, TikTok think, algorithm says the same TikTok thing. His TikTok algorithm me. is also <laughs> off too. Listen, listen. <laughs> what is your tip when you open up your TikTok, Dylan? What is your tip? What's like the, one of the first oh, videos gosh. that come up? Well, it's like archery stuff, or okay. it's like somebody see? finding arrowheads, or like mechanics working on. I mean, it knows me. Do, are, we, are you going to look for arrowheads? Oh yeah, I love that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. did you just see anything Hardy? outdoors? And, yeah, yeah, you know that pop. He, that, that pop. Did you see up. that? Yeah, oh, so many arrowheads. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> see what you got to do with your TikTok algorithm. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what mine's doing. All I see is chicks. Um, but anyways, <laughs> <laughs> also wanted to congratulate you on uh, getting your songs. I, I see top forty. Yeah, right now. Yeah, so congratulations. 20, top twenty-five, actually. Which, oh, so even higher than when you posted. Yeah, it is. Yeah, top thirty. Yeah. Perfect. Well, the normally they turn the lights on and tell you to go home. For, yeah, the they're, turn, they're turning they're them turn off. They're turning the lights yeah. off. So we're gonna hit it here from <laughs> the Hard Rock Hotel with Dylan Carmichael. See y'all.